behind the scenes of us filming. Hey guys, we're filming. I just did my nails. Check them out. Check them out. It's dead. Can't stop feeling. I don't know. Hey God. Are you choked? intro because y'all hate that no so today we're doing a haul hello if you could see what's in front of us there is a bunch of stuff and we went to Sephora and some of these things we already had so we're gonna show you everything we'll tell you all about it if yeah. you like Sephora hauls click like yeah. then we know and PS we're doing a giveaway for our subscribers yes. if you would like to be a subscriber and be entered in this giveaway just subscribe you can win a MacBook Air and if you want to be entered to win an iPad just go over to Instagram love gorgeous follow us there like and comment on our photos and you're good to go oh my gosh that's so easy real quick I'm gonna tell you guys what I've got going on my nails because it's kind of the coolest thing ever I have nail wraps on my nails and these you guys aren't... know we love nails yeah we love nails nail polish all of it and these are not just normal nail wraps no, no. Custom. They're custom. So if you're like, man, my Instagram feed has been on fleek. I've got the best Instagram aesthetic out there. You could put them on your nails. Or if you just take a really awesome picture and you're like, dude, that would look really cool. Like, have you ever seen like a marble design? You're like, man, I wish that marble design was on my nails. There you go. Like, you so, can do it. It's really cool. It's from NCLA. They have a nail, excuse me. They have a nail app. It's called Nail Booth. So it's like photo booth. Photo nail booth. So it's really cool. It's okay. So this is really pretty. It's like the print on this Alice in Wonderland palette. Right there. I like that. Yes. That right there. That. So you can apply it to all your nails or just one of them, right? Look, it's so cool. Hey girl, you own this picture, right? I just took it. I just so took I own the it. Picture. Have the little nails. Look, there's my nails. And so you could so do cool. like one picture that you love a lot, or you could do different ones. Like my nails have all kinds of different ones. I stinging love it. We can custom do a whole bunch of Disney ones for when we go to Disneyland this <gasps> time. And then we'll have Disney nails. You can theme your nails to your events. That's so cool. Go get the Nail Booth app, customize your nails, and show us the pictures on your nails that you design. I want to see them. Okay, let's haul some stuff, you guys. Okay, so I've been really inspired by the weather lately, aka summer coming and hotness, to have my highlight be on fleek, y'all. Yes. So I've struggled with powder. I always talk about this. I've struggled with powder products because I have dry skin. So I wanted to try this liquid highlight. It's the Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand. And I put it on my cheeks like we were just sitting here when she was doing her nails. And yeah, rude. No, I told you I was anticipating a burp. I put it on the cheek, che cheekies right here. And Tracy said that it was showing up more than my highlight I already had on on this cheek. So I'm okay with that. I'm excited to give it a go on like fresh makeup and right. not old makeup. But yeah, it's just got like a little brushy brush on it. And just blend it in. Okay, the next is pretty exciting. It is an eye palette from the Smashbox. It is Photo Matte Eyes. And I think the way this is supposed to be used is, okay, you've got 14 warm and cool tone matte shades with extra go-to base colors. So the larger center section, kind of like the chocolate bar has, one of the chocolate bars yeah. have like larger. Also says, contour your eye shape, perfect a liner look and create your ideal brow arch. So there's also shades in here that are designed to be used for brows. Your brows. I do that all the time. Like I'll take the like light taupey colors in my palettes and use them for brows if I run out of brow product. It has names of the shadows in the back, which I like. I always like to know what the name of the color is and where it is. So speaking of palettes, we just got the Lorac Pro Palette 3. What? I didn't even know there was a Pro Palette 3. It's not out yet. What? Because some of the stuff that we're talking about is PR and we don't usually include that kind of stuff in the video, but there's so much new stuff right now that we got a lot of it in PR, so we couldn't justify buying it again and you know, it's stuff that we probably so, would have picked up. Right. So, like I would have bought it if some of it we have purchased. So let us know if you want us to show you some of the stuff more often. We we don't show it all, but this is exciting because we actually are getting this before it's even out. Yeah. And. Da, 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 da. 
So it's like the original in the fact that it's got like shimmery and matte. I don't remember if there was a, uh, call me not a makeup pro, but I don't know if there was a second one or if it was just the mega, mega one. Mega one, I'm not sure. I think there is a two. But also I will say what I like about this one, just looking at it, is it looks like it's got a more warm tone to it. There's some pretty shades in here. Um, you guys know we we didn't necessarily like lean towards our original Lorac Pro palette. So I'm hoping maybe this one's like our <laughs> cup of tea. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't like all the Urban Decay palettes, but you might like one of them. Sometimes you may not like all of the Rock Pro palettes, but you might like this one. But we liked the, oh, what is it called? The Pro to Go. Pro to Go. Like, I love this that. Is a good one. So, so, this one's not out till June 12th. 12th online. Online, and then the 26th, in stores. I think, in stores. Okay, they also included a couple of the Pro Matte lip colors. This is in the color gray. Like, this looks like a dusty, cool tony rose it's color pretty. that I would love. When I swatched it, I was like, yeah. Like it. This one is lilac, which I feel like is a crazy color but I think it's really pretty for summer. I feel like people are going kind of crazy yeah. with the lip colors and I'm excited. Okay, so Urban Decay has had a lot of really cool, fun, exciting new things come out recently. And I think one of the most exciting things would be the Alice stuff because this is kind of like OG YouTube for us. It is, it brings me back to the days. If you guys remember, there was an original Alice palette back in, I believe 2010. Sounds about right. And 2010 or early 2011, I really think it was 2010. And we totally Not got it. Sure. We got it. I feel like we did a tutorial. I did a look on it. Yes. And I think we talked about another video and we went to the movie. It's just so nostalgic. Yeah, so we actually saw this movie like a week ago or so, and I really liked it. It was really good. Okay. So this is a collaboration. This is how you access all of. Oh, look. There you go. That's nice. Yeah, so stay excited. So like, if you look downwards, like this natural stuff that goes into the blue says Alice. This crazy, like purpley, pinky green is Mad Hatter. Then who's Marana? That's uh, Anne Hathaway. In Hathaway, okay. And then Erasabeth is, is the, the queen, evil yeah. queen. And then Time, which is part of the new Alice in Wonderland. Sasha Baron Cohen is Time, and yeah. he was awesome. Yeah, so these go, like she said, with the... These are like the characters. Yeah. So, okay, Alice is like a peachy color. Like honestly, seeing the movie makes me so much more excited for this launch and like the products and everything. It's almost like a fan feeling towards yeah. it. Yeah, like, I don't it's know. It's just cool. It's like being a part of a fan club. Yeah. So Alice. So cool. And the packaging is really pretty. This one is the I can't say it. Erasabeth. 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 Like Elizabeth, yeah. but Erasabeth. Yeah. Erasabeth. Kind of a cool name. It's like a matte red. I like what I'm wearing right now, but I'm not wearing this right now. Okay, this is Mad Hatter. A lot of these have a lot of glitter in them, so I would say these are not like everyday appropriate. They're fun. Yeah. It's more like costumey stuff. So it's like purple, intense glitter action going on. Unless you like your like funky colors and stuff every day. This is Time. It's another metallicized and it's blue, like a slate blue. I don't want to rip the box. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. I actually <laughs> I'm loving my nails like a lot. Okay, this is Marana and it's also metallicized. And this one looks real fun. It's like deep, 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 dark wine, burgundy, black color. But you know she has like that dark She does lip, have a vampy lip. With a really pale skin. Yeah. So more Urban Decay. They have new bronzers and highlights, which we love. So for the bronzers, they're the beach bronzer and they have one in Sunkiss. I haven't tried these yet. I've just looked at them and like kind of played like swatch with them. And they're like a matte. I stinking love I this packaging. It's so pretty. It says beached bronzer and this one's in the color bronze. I think this one's gonna be the like orangier one and that one's more of the I just feel like it's pinky, a lighter and a darker. Pinky and kind of. So I'm holding bronzed and she has sun kissed. They're so pretty. And then there are at least there's three. Yeah. Okay. There's three highlight colors. Sin's kind of like your, I don't know. Sin's like yellowy. Yeah. This is pink and this is kind more like bronzy, orangey. Let's just yeah. look at them. I mean, R is pink for sure. Yeah. This and is more of your like sin. gold. I feel like this would be the most like, like universally. Just a nice, pretty gold color. I wonder if I've swatched. I know I've swatched fire. Mine's oh. broken, so it's not completely beyond repair, but I don't well, yours really. Yours isn't bad at all. Mine was like, crushed. Looks more like a blush almost.
almost. It almost is. It's just ever so slightly It looks like light. it's a blue tone. Yeah. Like a duochrome. That's interesting. It's pretty. I really like that one a lot. Really I definitely sad. recommend Sin for sure, though. It's the definitely gold. your typical, yeah. Okay, next is, I thought this was a foundation at first. It's the Naked Skin line, but there's a Naked foundation, so it's not. It's the one and done hybrid complexion perfecter with SPF 20. It says one step and you're done in sleep blurs and perfections, even without skin tones. It's, it's to be like a primer and foundation in one? It's the compl it's hybrid complexion cream combines the benefits of a sheer foundation with the co coverage of a tinted moisturizer. Oh. And the high tech weightless uh, formula feels amazing on your skin. So it's it's like a, it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. I, I think something that definitely would be good maybe for like the beach or something because you've got your SPF and then you've got a little bit of coverage. I don't know how new this is. I think we got this at the same time as the bronzery mm -hmm. stuff maybe, or I'm not sure. We also got like a face primer, but I forgot to grab that. And this is the eyeshadow primer potion in Enigma. Okay, it's limited edition. What I like about this is it goes to like more of a satiny finish. Like it doesn't stay oily. I feel like the normal Urban Decay primer potion does. Yeah. Like do you see how it kind of mm -hmm. set? And it has a skin tone almost kind of like my, it looks more like painterly. So you could wear it alone or, you know, as your base. So. In case you didn't have enough Urban Decay yet, here's some more Urban Decay. This I'm pretty dang excited about. Really? Because the Vice lipstick is new. Have you tried them? They, I haven't tried them yet, but they have basically taken out, that's why their lipstick was on sale when we yes. went to Ulta. They are replacing it with a hundred shades. Oh. What? What like, collection has a hundred shades? Yeah, I find that, like when you think of Urban Decay, what do you think of? I think eyeshadow. eyeshadow. I think they're so, uh, trying to stick their toe in the lipstick game. Yeah. So we've got 10 lippy products, well sticks, nine lip liners. I think the only nine. lip product in this bunch that I'm super excited for, cause there's a couple of like metalized. Yeah, metalized. that's like the ones from the Alice collection. Yeah, I don't really care for glittery lip products. This is Back Talk. Um, of course you're excited about that one. I'm excited about that one, it's gorgeous. And it's a comfort matte. It's just shut up, right? It's just shut up. Like that's, if that's not close to what I already have on. This one is Pandemonium. Let us know down below if you want like a full watch video on these. I'm excited about this one. It is a mega matte. I wonder if this is like, cause Rocksteady, I'm pretty sure is a name from like the Gwen stuff. This is a cream and I always love a good red. So I'm trying to get naked, but it's I can't happening. get it. <laughs> All right, this one's naked. I really like the packaging. I do I think too. It looks good. Oh, that's much prettier than I even imagined. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a cream. This is, oh, 714, 714. It's a mega matte. Ooh, I like that better than, than the box indicated to me. That's how I'm feeling about a lot of these. And these aren't even all of them, like Big Bang, which is a metallicized color. Metallicized? Like it says it's metallized. metallized. I keep saying metallicized because that makes more sense. This is called it's Disturbed. Much more brown. Yeah. This one's Menace. It's a comfort matte. This this one's, this one's pretty. Yeah. yeah. This one's gonna be a Stephanie one. This is Conspiracy and it is metalized. But yeah, I just find trends interesting how it's like, we're all about the fun. matte. So let us know if you want swatches of like the lipsticks and lip liners and stuff, because there's a bunch of new shades. Like seriously, super excited for the Vice lipsticks. Tell us which colors you're most excited for because clearly we don't have them all. Some Tarte stuff, we don't have a whole lot of Tarte stuff, but we do have Tarte Contour Palette. And I don't know if we've talked about this, because I've played with mine a little bit since we've gotten it, but. It smells good. And you guys know we good. love stuff that smells good. Cool, so you've got like highlight. This looks like it's supposed to be kind of like corrector wise, like kind of a yellow tone. Not sure about the center. And then these two are contour. And then this is like a blush. Well, these are the Tarte Lippy Lingeries. They're what? like matte, right? Like I a matte so. lip crayon. Yeah, I think I found one at Heather's. It was in, what's that color? Pure. And this is revealed. I think it was in, oh, I don't know. It was one of our kind of color colors, like yeah. the very pinky nude color. And I wanted it, but I thought that we had it at home, but we did not have it at home. Yeah, I don't think we got a ton of these. We just got a couple. Yeah. So I like it. it. This is a combination. I'll get to what other thing I have on there in a minute. Benefit has some, they've kind of like revamped their brow stuff. They've got some new and pencils. Yeah, they've got some new pencils. They've got, their Gimme Brow has gotten a makeover. How stinking cute. Cute. So they've also added new shades. So this number bunch. three is new. Benefit is is definitely stepping up their brow game, and and this one, the Cabrow. I was not usually one for like the gel cream brow stuff. I don't know if it's because I ran out of brow product, like of my regular Anastasia, or if it's because I like the fact that it's like a brush and in one, and it just makes it feel. Because I think that's 
that's another thing is I hated having to search for a brush or whatever, but I've been using the crap out of it. I feel like you get wax and color in one. Like it kind of like holds your brows in place and does that in one. So I've Instead been Instead of like excited. how I've been doing pencil and then yeah. like gimme brow. Yeah, because sometimes pencil could just be dry and it doesn't quite have enough waxiness to it. This, just smash those suckers down and make them stay. But anyway, those are coming out like June 24th. So you can see it on the website. They've got all the different colors and stuff like that. And June 24th is when they'll be for sale. So exciting. It's so funny. We don't usually get this much stuff, but I feel like it's like the Built season up. of everything coming out Lots right of new now. Stuff. Lots of new stuff. Oh my God, Stephanie, what do you have on your lips? Oh, it's funny you should ask that because it's a product that I got and it is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color. Wait for it. The Bachelor, Bachelorette. Bachelorette. What? Comment below if you're watching Oh, it's like a pinky red color. Okay, this is a foundation. It's what I have on today. And so far, I am undecided. I'm gonna have to give it some more time. They're gonna make it into the products you are not worth the hype? Maybe. Cause one thing is I feel like any kind of lines or whatever, I feel like it's settling. No, it's like not staying there. Like if I if I if I make a lot of expressions, I can see where it's like disappeared. So like in the mornings, like after I do my foundation, if I'm like going to do my eye makeup, after that I have to take my forehead and do this and put my foundation back on my forehead because of all that. Yeah, you know, so, H. So Makeup Forever H Ultra HD, and I got it in the shade R260. R2D2. I don't know what their shades are about, but I went for the pink undertone because when I was swatching their like yellow undertones, everything just looked like extra yellowy, and I was like, it just. I feel like if it was the right tone, it wouldn't look like that. Like yeah. it, I wouldn't think that it looked. So it wouldn't look yellowy. so contrast contrast right. for sure. Right. Right. So I went oh. <laughs> so I went oh. No, I just looked in there and I saw this little like makeup. <laughs> primer. I don't know. We'll see. Have you guys tried this? What are your thoughts? Because I'm a little like on the fence right now, but I've been looking for something that's like more lightweight, more like, is she wearing foundation? I don't think she is. Kind of thing. Questionable. Who knows? Earlier on, we were talking about how much I love highlight and I got another highlight product. It's the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. And me and Tracy decided that I would try the like pinky color and it's in Starlight. And it's like little drops that you put in your foundation to make your like foundation illuminate. I'm real excited to try this. Yay. Um, I'm real excited to try that. And it was only like, I say only $14. For a highlight product from Sephora with it being Sephora brand, it's slightly cheaper than what another highlight would be. I'm telling you guys, I'm on the hunt for a foundation. So I, I'm opting for trying the Cover FX. This is the the natural finish oil free foundation and I've heard good things about cover effects they're supposed to be like more natural I want to say my knowledge stops there so I went for p30 which is pink I don't want to open it yet I mean I just opened it but I don't want to like squeeze it out apply to clean to prime skin with liquid foundation brush oh I'm sure you want me to buy that brush <laughs> but I didn't. I don't like spending a lot of money on stuff but if it does good things in it and I believe it then I don't know. Okay, so Tracy picked these bad boys out because she wants us to try them in a video. Yeah. yeah. Thumbs up and tell us below if we should. And this is the Nail Ink Paint Can. Spray Can Nail Polish. It seems so bad. Like there's a big fire emblem on the back. So, so I probably shouldn't light this. No, <laughs> don't do that. So we're That's gonna do fun. a video and test this out and let you guys know if it's hack or whack. I think it's gonna be whack. 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 So we got Hoxton Market, Ho Ho Houghton Market, Hoxton Market. Maker Lane. Must use base coat. We didn't get the base coat. Yes, we did. Oh. Nails Inc. Two in one base and top coat. Paint can's best friend. Paint can's best friend. <laughs> See, we I went was to like, Sephora. We didn't do we it. We went to Sephora. This is one of the other things I have on my lips, and this is something Stephanie really likes, and it's the Buxom Full On Lipstick in Dolly. I really feel like this looks darker than what I thought you were rocking. I feel like from tube to lip and hand, it's slightly darker. Yeah. But it's very close to that tart pure color. You can see like this is the buxom on the bottom mm -hmm. and that's oh. the tart on the top. Very dolly better. Very similar. I like them both. I don't know, I sort of like them both. I sort of like them both. All right, guys, holy cannoli, that is everything that we have to share with you. Like we said, some of it's from Sephora. All of it's probably either at or going to be at Sephora, if not already. But yeah, some of it was sent to us. And some, and of, some of it bought. you can find at Ulta, so don't yeah. think you can only get it at Sephora. We just happened to go to Sephora, and when we were trying to pick out products, we were like, some of that's already been sent to us. So we were yeah. like, we'll share that with you guys. because Tell you what's new. It was there, and it's yeah. new. Especially yeah. this. I saw this when we first walked in yeah. the Alice palette, and I yeah. was like, so cool. All right, tell us what of these things you're going to check out if you've already checked them out. What do you think? And we'll have links down below where you can go check them out if they're available now. And we love all of you guys so much. We do. 
And we're going to talk to you guys in another video. We sure will. Bye, guys.